Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to Source. I return to Sender. All negative energies and in any tents, I call back only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so we have someone. This could be like, so I've been picking up on like a king of cups. There may be a king of cups that's trapped within an institution wishing to be to be in some type of family dynamic with uh, empress energy. This will be someone more than likely from your past. Uh, I have the empress at the bottom and the... Uh, <laughs> Listen, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a King of Cups wanting to have some type of relationship, some type of situation uh, with uh, an Empress energy, but he is trapped in some type of toxic connection, toxic situation, maybe toxic institution. I don't know what this man got himself caught up in, but he's in some type of toxic and karmic cycle he's not able to get out of. He wants to leave that karmic cycle and come towards you. He sees you as wish fulfillment. But you could have decided to put something to rest with this person. This could be someone from your past. Or maybe this is someone you're not aware of. This could be someone that is married. I feel like with the devil out here, and I see the, the eight of swords out here, this is someone from your past. This is an ex. Uh, this is someone that's trapped in some type of horrible relationship that he put himself in and may be seeing you as wish fulfillment, wants to come towards you and give you some type of offer. He's still binded and attached to the other energy, but wants to come in and give you an offer that is disingenuous solely because of the fact that he does not want to see you happy or fulfilled in life with another person. He does not want to be on a planet where you are being loved on, you are being respected. You are being uh, taken care of and things like that. There's some type of prophecy that is playing out for a King of Cups and he ain't liking it. He's pissed off. He's angry. Uh, he's now a little bit more attentive to the details. Maybe he wasn't attentive to the details before when Source was telling him or his ancestors were telling him not to do something. Maybe he didn't pay attention to why they were telling him not to do something. But I reckon a brother is more awakening now. He understands why it is they were telling him, hey, we are telling you, yeah, don't do that to that Empress energy. Uh, he may have ended up with someone who is not an Empress energy with this Three of Swords to the Empress. This is someone who is not an Empress energy. He's also, this will also be symbolic of the fact that he's finding out that whoever he left was an actual Empress. So it's very uh, symbolic in a lot of different ways. Why we have the Three of Swords followed by the Empress. He's finding out that he betrayed a real Empress and he's finding out he's not with a real Empress. Okay, so this man now is trying to get ahead of the game. He wants to come towards you to give you some type of offer, but this contract between you and this man has been over a long time ago. You ended a karmic cycle with this uh, uh, narcissist because this is what I'm picking up on. Someone starting off as the devil, that's a narcissist. That's a cold-blooded narcissist. It does not get any more narcissistic than that. So you've ended your karmic cycle with this person. There's no contract between you all anymore. If you owed him any type of karmic debt, it's been paid in full is what I am hearing. So it is very critical for you to make sure you do not entertain this narcissist in any way, shape, or form. This is someone that's in some type of time out by the universe and he's trying to find his way out of that time out that five of pentacles so you can see him as wish fulfillment may want to regurgitate some memories in your minds and remember when we used to be happy you know that Ma michael jackson song remember the time you say i don't remember nothing my my, my 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 mental is selective when it comes to memory it may be mind blowing to you but i have selective memory sir okay that's what you're about to tell this mother sucker I'm seeing something about magic. Someone may even want to come towards you. They've done some type of love spell behind the scenes. And they're hoping that when they come in and you look in their eyes or something, I don't know what it is. They're going to speak something into existence or they have some type of spell that's been put on them. When you see them, the magic is supposed to get you just alluring to them. You're just supposed to be like, oh my gosh, he is so handsome. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking to leave him? Oh my God, he is so charismatic. 
oh, I have got to get my hands on that. Like, you're supposed to have, like, this urgent feeling to touch him and be with him. But they say, no, sir, you're being left out in the cold. You chose where you wanted to be. Their union is over. This person you're trying to come back to worse is in a whole new abundant cycle. It ain't no going back to the past, okay? So this man is going through some type of stagnation behind the scenes. He's been more than likely assisting people behind the scenes to block a king of pentacles because we have the four of swords. They've been figuring, trying to figure out how to block this king of pentacles from coming towards you to give you some type of offer. This man sees you as victorious. Someone sees you as very strong, very quick with it, may find you to be very skilled, very beautiful, uh, someone that's committal. Yeah, I'm telling you. And he's freeing himself from the situation. He escaped. God, thank you. Oh, he's escaping some type of situation that has to do with a position. He ain't going to be playing around no more. They've been plotting on this man, trying to figure out. It's a whole family, by the way, that was plotting on how to take a king of pentacles out because they couldn't manipulate him because he's someone of strong character. They couldn't manipulate him to turn his back on you. Maybe someone sees you as someone that's at the top of your game when it comes to your skills. Someone sees you as very loyal. Someone sees you as very skilled, like a good friend to have around and things like that. And he is just, you know, he's sticking to his gun. He said, yeah, you know what? I want to go find out for myself. It's best for me to go find out and maybe I'm wrong about it than to not find out and end up being wrong and end up being, you know, wrong about it as well. It's like, uh, I, I, I feel like this person is worth the effort, the investments. So I'm going to go and find out for myself. So he doesn't want to sit around wondering, should he make this move? Should he not make this move? Like someone is coming to invest in you. He's leaving some type of position. Um, I don't think someone is getting fired. He's escaping a position. There was some type of collaboration maybe he was a part of before and he's freeing himself. There was some type of plot against him and someone is choosing to leave, escape that position. Maybe he already left, thank goodness, but there was a karmic community that was plotting to take some type of action against him uh to block him or end him they were they were gatekeeping this man for a long time and maybe he was not awakened to it but now he's being compelled by the universe um uh, to make some type of bold move and free himself from some type of karmic situation karmic collaboration there could be a lot of confessions going on because maybe he's starting to ask questions and things like that maybe there was some type of crazy cover up going on behind the scenes and he's choosing to kind of just leave that behind and move on it's like he's kind of cutting his losses and moving on right uh this karmic group couple whatever this is institution they could be feeling overburdened overwork and things like that because they've been taking a lot of reckless and impulsive actions to do something to like an empress energy to cause you heartbreak to steal something that's not yours but it's like a, it looks like it's disappointment for them because i don't know if he was coming towards you to give to you and they've been doing a lot of actions or taking a lot of actions behind the scenes to cause you a lot of distress and heartbreak so that this man does not come around you so, so this is like a group coming together to temper with your energy and all of this is being exposed by the way in this community to this man but all of them coming together to work over time to kind of temper with your energy so that you can end up in some type of negative energy about yourself where it's like it'll turn this man off when he hears you or when he sees you whatever it is like he, he should not want to have anything to do with you but this man is having some type of realization right some type of exposure is taking place in his life where he's realizing that they've all been in cahoots they've all been collaborating together um and he's choosing to leave something in the past and balance a situation out like the illusions all the illusions are being exposed to him and he's choosing to move forward to this queen of wands who that would be you and there's also another queen of wands behind the scenes trying to stop your victory like this is someone's trying to sabotage your investments trying to sabotage your plans any type of plan he has as well when it comes to collaborating with you they're still trying to gatekeep this man uh there's still some type of cover up that's going on but everything is being exposed uh there could be something someone is considering to be forbidding which should be, I guess, you and this man coming together, working together. I don't know if it's a romantic situation, if he has feelings for you with the Ten of Cups out here. 
maybe it's something like that but someone is considering this relationship or this collaboration between you and him forbidding maybe you two come from different walks of life he may be religious you could be spiritual he could be wealthy and you could be broke whatever it is i don't know what your living situation but with this eight of pentacles out here in the reverse you're probably broke like myself with four dollars in your bank account you ain't no ain't no need to be fronting sister it's okay we all go through these stages in life i got four dollars i don't know what you got in your bank account but he knows he knows he knows that's why he's trying to come towards you to give to you and balance something out, give you some type of opportunity maybe. I don't know what it is, but he knows, he knows. Ain't no, ain't no need to be friendly, sister. It's okay, it's okay. It's part of life. It's part of life. Yeah, he knows, baby. He knows. He knows you're out in the cold. You don't got a dime to your name. Uh, Whatever this is, girl, he knows. But you can count your lucky stars. He's coming in to work with you. He knows you're very committed. He knows you're someone very loyal, someone very honest. Okay, so it is what it is. Yeah, you see that right there? There's someone, whoever this other energy is, <laughs> the king of cups that I picked up on initially, he cannot come towards you because you're going to see right through this sucker here. It's like someone coming in your energy that are worse off than they were before and they're trying to come in and pretend to be you, pretend to be wealthy now, pretend to be something they're not. You're going to see right through them. They're going through some type of stagnation as well and they're not really able to take full charge to come towards you and they may also know there is no going back to the past. Like You don't want to go back to the past, especially when it comes so this first thing that's not an option like the past is over um these people could be going through some type of sex stagnation like there's some type of insecurity going on behind the scenes some type of lack of confidence especially when it comes to this masculine that wants to come towards you as far as the king of cups reverse whatever it is he's dealing with some type of insecurity i don't think this is someone that you don't know this is someone from your past uh there's someone is very immature the way they act especially as a man um, it's like someone that acts like a woman because they're out here more than likely trying to defeat you, trying to get you, uh, either fire with this eight of pentacles in reverse, trying to dismantle your finances, your stability, your loyalty or commitment to your path or your work. Someone has been doing something to cause you a lot of stagnation. And now that it's backfiring, this is why he wants to come into your energy. Like someone is under judgment by your ancestors and their your ancestors are exposing the truth. Like the truth is in this man's face. He cannot hide from it. Um, he cannot pretend like it's not there. They're like, until you do right by this star seed, we are going to keep wreaking havoc in your life. We're going to keep hunting you. We're going to keep exposing the truth about you and to you until you do right by them. And by doing right, we do not mean you getting in a relationship with them. We mean by you fixing what it is that you've broken and you've been out here pretending like someone did something to you. Okay. Just like you had a whole worldwide view of when you were destroying this star seed, the whole world is going to have a worldwide view when it's time for you to fix. I don't know if someone is in like some type of time out where he's trying to figure out how to correct his mistakes because something is being illuminated to him about you. Like something is being amplified to this ma uh, masculine. It's like, the, the F are you doing? Like, why were you doing all this nonsense? All this error? Men don't move like this. Come on now. Men don't move like this. Okay? This King of Pentacles, however, what I'm picking up on him as well is that he may be dealing with some type of mindset right now where he's not sure about coming towards you because he doesn't know how you're going to accept him uh someone does not know if you feel the same way about him someone does not know as far as maybe working with him or it could be like a romantic situation he does not know how you feel about him uh he may not even know if you're single or not Maybe someone is still dealing with uh, insecurities, especially when it comes to who he's laying with and things like that. I don't know for some of you, this could be like an S worker as well. Just keep that in mind. I don't know what this has to do with, but someone could be going through some type of stagnation right now because they're trapped in their mind. They don't like someone's palms could be getting sweaty, their forehead, like someone could start sweating when they start thinking about coming towards you because they're so nervous. How are you going to accept them? How are you going to perceive them? Is it going to be a success, a successful collaboration? Is it going to be a successful union? Whatever this is, like someone is trying to take charge and come, to, yeah, come towards you. This could be someone that's religious with this higher fan out here. Okay. Uh, and he's very content, I guess, in life. I would be careful, though. I don't know. There's something up with this man. Uh, there's something up with him. I don't know if this is someone that likes money. This is someone that... 
there's too many cards out here that are alarming for me. This devil and this eight of pentacles reverse. This could be in that ten of swords, four of swords. Listen, there's something alarming about this man. There could be two different king of pentacles. But whoever this one is, I'm starting to pick an energy up on. There's something alarming about him. Someone is very financially motivated. I don't know what this is, but be cautious with the... I feel like there are two people coming towards you. and You need to be very, very careful with one of them. One of them is like the devil in flesh. It's like a handsome devil coming towards you. Okay? So just, just, uh, I'm letting you know so you know ahead of time. Like, so you're uh, uh, on top of your game. There's, there's a handsome devil coming towards you, and he's trying to get you to sign some type of contract with this higher fan out here, trying to get you into some type of, uh, I don't know what this is, in an institution. Maybe this man is binded to some type of contract, and he's trying to fulfill that contract, and fulfilling that contract has to do with you being trapped. You not being able to have any type of new beginnings. You not being able to attract any type of uh, fulfillment in life, abundance or nothing, Okay. Uh, he may find you to be very attractive, but you want to be careful. You may want to be in like your no nonsense energy when you meet this man, because there's something about him that's just I don't know what this is. But then there's another King of Pentacles. Like, be careful, basically, basically, because if you choose the wrong one, baby, your behind is on the line. It is on the line, because some one of these masculines is dark, dark. And I mean, as far as energy, someone is extraordinarily dark. And he don't feel no ways about it. At all. Someone gets a thrill out of being dark. I keep seeing the word forbidden. There's something here about something being forbidden. So maybe even your ancestors are deciding that something is forbidden. So you may want to be careful. I keep seeing that word forbidden for a reason. So... So if his people are saying it's forbidding and your ancestors are saying it's forbidding, it must be forbidding. Be on your own, okay? Don't sign no contracts. There's some type of material motive behind why he's coming towards you. I'm telling you, girl. Mm -mm. Don't do it. If, if the both of them come towards you and you ain't sure which one it is, just tell them thank you so much for considering me, but I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to see for myself. Yeah. Listen, whoever this King of Swords, the King of Pentacles is, I'm starting to pick up on. Not the one before, but this new one, baby. Uh 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 uh. This is a narcissist, and he's trying to figure out how to stop you. Trying to figure out how to stop you, cause conflict in your life, have you in some type of confusing energy. Someone may be into doing things illegally. He don't care. Like, someone is incredibly dark. I don't know how else to see that. Someone feels like they should have control over you. Since they're a man, you're a woman, this person likes emotions. Like he's planning on trapping you. He's coming towards you with some type of frivolous friendship just to trap you in your mind, confuse you. You ain't confused. You know who this is more than likely. It's too many cup, cups cars out here for you to not know who this is. This second person I'm picking up on, you know who it is. He's dark. He's Mr. Dark. Okay? He's Mr. Dark. What's that? Um, Mr. Freeze or Mr. Heat Master? I don't know. This is the devil right here. I I'm sorry. His brother started off with that energy. He said, I'm I'm the same. He this is some of this is one of those people that has a hard time masking him his energy, but he doesn't realize that the truth about his energy is always there. But he thinks he's very crafty. This is the person that thinks he can come in and charm you. Gave you something. And you're just going to be the, oh, Mr. Bossman, I'm going to stay with you. Oh, I choose you. I don't know what I was thinking all these years. Uh-uh. That's the devil in disguise. Run for the hills, girl. Run for the hills. 
The actual genuine King of uh, Pentacles is afraid of losing you. Someone, you are well respected by someone and he's well respected. So if you F around and you pick the wrong one, baby, this is going to be you. And don't say, Cynthia, I didn't tell you ahead of time. I'm telling you ahead of time so you are at the top of your game when these mother suckers come towards you trying to give you a note, a noteworthy uh, a performance of why you should work with them, blah, 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 baby. I'm telling you ahead of time. You and whoever you're supposed to be working with come up as a match. Okay? And he is disappointed and heartbroken by the fact that he may have let you out in the cold for Carmichael. Maybe he chose some type of relationship over you and he's finding out it is very karmic. It is not the bee's knees. He's trying to get the heck up out of there. Don't boss up. He's like, mm, mm. I got the boss up and get the heck up out of here. Okay? So he's no longer living with that limited mindset. More than likely that that's where he's supposed to be. That's his final destination. Now nah, someone has found a resolve. He said, I'm getting the heck up out of here. Uh, and the way he's leaving is going to be sensational. Someone may even be trying to keep him stuck, giving him offers, and he's refusing it because a brother is determined to take charge and move on towards you. You're both showing up. As matches, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Thread with caution, thread with caution. Because whoever the other lunatic is that's coming towards you, he said you cost him money. Because he's not able to get paid anymore to block you. To cause stagnations and things like that in your life. And someone is nothing but a thief. There to steal your new beginning, steal your abundance, and cause you nothing but death. Trying to put an end to your ten of pentacles. Maybe even trying to end a king of wands. That's been doing the healing work. He's very intimidated by this king of wands. Baby, my sister, I am putting you ahead of the game. You don't need to be intrigued by any type of karmic, karmic masculine coming towards you. When he say hello and you get that whiff of toxicity, say goodbye. He says hello, and you say goodbye. Hello, hello. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> you, you feel me? Yeah, leave that sucker out in the cold. Let him go through his tower, okay? He's going through a tower for trying to stop you. Cause still mates in your life, and he was being paid to do that. So when that mother sucker come around, he says hello, tell him goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Trying to come in and act like he's supportive of you, but he's been the one blocking your fulfillment the whole time. I, I'm telling you the truth, honey. You better listen to your listen to Big Sis now. Big Sis cares about you. Don't be out here letting this these motherfuckers play you like this now. I'm I'm trying to save you. I'm your big sister. You don't you don't did a lot of work to be healed and comfortable in life. You don't have to have the best of things in life, but you've done a lot of work to get to this energy here. And if you partner up with the wrong person, maybe you're going to go from being in the upright, being you and content in life to being in some type of karmic cycle and you don't even know what hit, you won't even know what hit you. It's that you go from being graceful one day at the top of your game, being an ascendant master, the universe F's with you. They're trying to figure out how they can bless you in many, many ways to the next days. We don't F with you, you know, because you're out here doing low vibrational stuff, trapped with a lunatic that's money hungry. Because that's all he, his ultimate purpose of being around you is for money. He's been being paid, honey, didn't I tell you? This sucker has been being paid to trap you. He is coming towards you. To that he's trying to beat your actual emperor towards you. He's trying to beat him to you so he can give you some type of noteworthy performance, and you will accept some type of offer from him, and you'll end up binded, trapped, unable to go nowhere. Every time you want to free yourself, he said, "Oh, oh hold on, hold on." The contract says on page four that you at no time will leave this premises. Uh, you got me after up once, one, one, first of all. Second of all, uh-uh, <laughs> I ain't doing it. I is free. I is born to be free, and I is going to stay free. I don't care how broke I am. I is going to stay free. You know what? It seems that you need me more than I need you. That's for the clown that's coming towards you. You need me more than I need you. You don't got no gifts. 
You ain't talent there. You're manipulative. That's all you is. So it sounds like you need me. I don't need you. So what I'm going to do is get back into this healing energy here so that the universe can get back to supporting me uh -huh, and balancing out these situations for me and allowing me to manifest what it is I need to manifest. Listen, whether that be what? Generosity, balance, all right? Self-mastery, genuine connections, victories, and things like that, baby. I don't know what it is, but you best be careful when this lunatic comes towards you because someone thinks that they are the bee's knees when it comes to being deceitful. Uh -huh. he, he said his, his uh, what is it? His services are on demand. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. He said he's seamless with how he, baby, he said he's a must-have. He's a must-have. Are you, sir? Ma'am, you are being guided to leave this mother sucker out in the cold. Do not block your future. Do not block your future because of how good looking someone is or how charming they are. Tell them you'll get back to them later. Whatever, whatever offer they gave you, tell them, you know what? I appreciate your consideration of me for this position, for this whatever. Give me some time. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. And then go on behind the scenes and do your research. Okay? Do your research. Do your research today, tomorrow, and as long as you need to do your research, because if you don't do your research, you have nobody to hold accountable but yourself. Okay? And this devilish energy, he is mad, mad, pissed off. Oh, he's pissed off. He said, I'm losing money, calling you all types of bees and stuff like that. But your ancestors don't care. <laughs> this man thought he was going to keep gatekeeping you for the rest of his time or your time on this earth and he was going to keep making money someone may have even let their nine to five fall down to the wayside you see that eight of pentacles out here in the reverse he don't allow his nine to five to fall down to the wayside because he's been making so much money out of blocking your forward movement if he owns a business since he's a king of pentacles he don't let that business fall to the wayside as well because he's maybe getting twenty thousand dollars a month to cause you stagnation and blockages maybe he's making fifty thousand dollars a month you're worth a whole lot of money sis you you out here got people benefiting off of your your stagnation your like your state of poverty they're gaining money off of that and that's why they're all in cahoots to work together to make sure you stay in that energy but sources they got him or her it effed up in more than one ways so I said, you got me fooled up in one in too many ways. If you think I'm about to leave my divine being out here unattended to, not cared for, not provided for, and trapped with you, you got me fooled up in one in too many ways, like I said. Okay, with that said, so I said, we are out of here. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. i see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.